Hi everybody, it's Dara and it's salad time. And I'm so happy to say that I'm back in the kitchen. It's been a long time since I've been in the kitchen alone. And you know, life happens, Raw Living Expo happens, the Longevity Now Conference. It was two weeks of like socializing and connecting and hugs and information and it was beautiful and magnificent. And I finally have just unpacked and gotten settled and to me there's nothing better than taking this time to share with you and be alone in the kitchen and just make something to eat and show you so you just how easy raw food can be and how easy and enlivening and it's going to make us look younger because we're having a lot of um we've got vitamin a here we've got vitamin c i'm using spinach and the thing about spinach is that it has iron but if you don't add vitamin c you're not going to your body's not going to be able to absorb all of the iron in the spinach. So that's kind of why the strawberry spinach salad goes together or spinach with little mandarin oranges. But today we're going to also give it an extra punch because I'm going to have the salad is going to be strawberries and spinach and the dressing is going to be a mango ginger dressing. And all it's going to be is mango uh, some ginger from some ginger juice from the ginger people. You can use fresh ginger juice, juice it yourself. If you want to know how, go to my ginger turmeric tea and it shows you how to get the juice out of the ginger. So we have mango, we have ginger, we have a little apple cider vinegar for some brightness, acidity, and a little bit of salt. And we're going to need a fat. I don't have any oils in the house other than coconut oil, which you could use. I'm going to use tahini and zucchini, zucchini, tahini and zucchini to give it body. So the ingredients for the dressing are as follows, apple cider vinegar, zucchini, mango, tahini, which is rich in calcium and protein, ginger, which is anti-inflammatory, and mango, which has got all kinds of minerals and vitamins and antioxidants, and it's just really great for our health. So I am going to do that in my little mini food processor. It's under $30. Any of the gadgets you see me using are on my website, link below. And I'm going to just blend a small amount in here. So it'll probably just be one mango. And I'll cut and talk at the same time and fill you in as to the happenings. It's really been an extraordinary time. There's so many ways to cut a mango. All I want to say to you is just be really careful when cutting a mango. Um, it's probably best to just slice off pieces and, and do the cube thing. I think I'll do that. So the dogs are whining. Otherwise, it's very peaceful in the house. So basically, you just kind of cut it like that into cubes like that and then peel it out. I'm going to get a different knife. So... I had Dan the man here, Dan McDonald, and we made a video, and that should be posting on his channel soon. We have one up on my channel, and one's going up on his channel. And just the amazing people that I got to hang out with and connect with and try products, and I have a whole bag full of goodies, and we'll see what I share, and um, super, super social season. I highly recommend both events if you can make it next year. Raw Living Expo and Longevity Now. Very different, but beautiful. So the thing is, is that raw food, if you don't know already, if you haven't gotten the word or you haven't tried it, is the way to detoxify our bodies so that disease, disease can't live in our bodies. And so our cells are nourished and they're hydrated and they're singing. And so therefore the beauty because beauty is important too, beauty is going to come from the inside out. So when we're healthy and detoxified on the inside, it's going to show in our skin, our hair, our nails, our eyes, the whites of our eyes. So when someone looks beautiful, it's usually because they're healthy. Otherwise, unless they're in a magazine and they're retouched and it's not real. But when a real person uh, who's vibrating at a very healthy level is standing before you, you just, you may not know why they're so beautiful, but it's because they're eating healthy. You know, it can't really be faked, and certainly it can't be faked past a certain age. And I'll tell you what I think the cutoff date is. I think when we hit 35, 
what we start to do to our bodies, put in our bodies, ingest and put on, and uh, starts to really show. And we start to age. And I've really noticed this. I started nosing, noticing it's not age that makes somebody unattractive. It's the toxins and the things that go in, and, and they start to build up and just... We don't have to lose our beauty and our energy and our health as we age. That's the whole point, I think. That's what we're trying to do here. So I'm going to, I'm really just making a little bit of dressing. That's half a mango. Use a teaspoon of tahini. And it's really, it's obvious when you start to see. So, so you, can, you can see how healthy somebody is by how puffy or unpuffy or, you know, maybe they're having too much dairy and alcohol and their skin, they're puffy or uh, their kidneys aren't filtering and their adrenals are having a hard time. You'll see dark circles. And if it's puffy, it's the kidneys. And if the whites of the eyes are yellowy, then the liver's having a hard time. And so we need to support all of our organs. There's so many things we can do. I'm gonna give you a big fat list of the things we can do for self-betterment. It's a beauty regime. Two, drink your green juices. Two, rebound, jump up and down. Two, get vitamin D by lying outside, naked if possible. Two, um, taking in, a, how about a, a detoxifier like diatomaceous earth that's gonna detoxify your body and give you minerals. We can add shilajit to help mineralize our bodies. We can eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. We need to be eating a lot of fruits and vegetables. We can limit the amount of cooked food because cooked food can act like, you know, it's not as vibrant and healthy and full of enzymes and it can act like a toxin in our bodies so it slows us down. But if you're coming from a heavy, horribly bad cooked food diet, then going to a clean cooked food diet can be nurturing and detoxifying. So it really depends where you're coming from. And I'm gonna put a splash of apple cider vinegar. So, and the ginger juice. I lost my top. And then we just spin it and we taste it. It's as easy as that. So you gotta go by your own taste buds. I hear Facebook. Um, Fruity, we might want it fattier, we'll see. It's perfect, doesn't need a thing. I didn't even add the zucchini, it doesn't need it in there. So what I might do, you could put it in there. Zucchini is a great way to get body. I just thought of Dan and Sherry Saria, Saria well, it's Sherry Saria and Dan Letterman who run the Living Light Culinary Arts Institute and they're amazing. I saw them at the Raw Food Expo. And she taught me that using a zucchini, she taught me a lot because I went to school there, but using a zucchini is a way to add body to a dressing without adding fats. So you add a little bit of fat, more zucchini, and you get that fullness to your dressing. I don't really need it right now, so I can just shred this up onto my, my spinach and get all the folate and all the vitamin and minerals that are in the skin of the zucchini in my salad. So... Be generous with the size of your bowl because that enables you to mix it better. And then you can even add more veggies. So the amount of fiber and vegetables, I have a carrot here as well for some crunch and color. And um, So the, um, the thing is, is that we want to have a lot of fiber and a little bit of fat. So I use my fat to, you very rarely see me just eating an avocado. I'll use that avocado fat to help the greens and vegetables be more palatable and more absorbable. And here we go. There's our spinach. And I'll cut some strawberries. It's so pretty. It's so pretty because we have the red and the green. We're going to have orange. We're gonna mix it up and we're going to remember to chew our food really, really well. Otherwise, you might as well go and blend it so that your body can digest it well. And 
really make it an art to make your food and an art to sit down and appreciate. So you eat this beautiful salad and then maybe you feel so satisfied because it's got all the flavors in it and it's so, um, yes, it's got a little sweet, it's got a little salty. And then after, if you want to make yourself a hot cup of tea with a little bit of stevia or make one of my coffee substitutes and you just feel so satisfied eating this way, you don't miss anything. So what I tell people is that this isn't about deprivation. It's gorgeous. And, and don't think about the things that you um, are going to miss. Don't ever tell yourself you can't ever have something. Just say you're going to have this first. And you're going to give this a shot. And then after, you can have whatever it is you want if you still want it. And you'll eat a lot less of it. But if there's something on your mind, on your mind, you're on your mind, you might as well go and eat it and get sick of it. <laughs> But if you at all, like, if you just keep thinking of the same thing over and over again, I think you might as well eat it. Or, better yet, come up with some kind of raw food taste or texture substitute. And there's ways. There's crackers. There's breads. There's chips. There's, um, there's nut butters. There's chocolates. You could have chocolate and nut butter and, you know, call it a happy moment. You could have um, puddings and cheeses. Um, so it's better, you know, people are like, oh no, I should just have the salad and the fruit. And, but if you're going to be human, which we are, and if you are going to crave something and eat something that's bad, why not eat the good bad thing? Why not have the raw cookie and have the raw ice cream made out of coconut fat or even a little bit of cashews? Way better than what's going on with the other stuff. Um, so really try and educate yourself as to why no dairy, why no meat, why no refined stuff, why no wheat. I mean, I don't go on and talk about all these things, but we don't want inflammation from the wheat. We don't want all of the things that come along with the dairy, which I'm not going to mention. There's plenty of information out there, and we don't want the puffy faces and the mucus that forms. And, you know, we, we so that's the dairy, covered the wheat dairy. Um, the meat is a whole other thing. Our digest, digestive tract is so long. Do you know how long it is and how th a piece of meat could so easily get lodged in our intestines and putrefy? Yeah, I'm going into it. I never do that because I think people know, but not everybody knows. And you don't want a piece of food putrefying. That's where icky things grow, really icky things that many of us have. So this diet, while it's delicious, is also extremely detoxifying and will get rid of the undesirables that could live there, and there are. So the other things that we want to do for ourselves, along with that long, beautiful list of rebounding and vitamin D and eating healthy and drinking, uh, we want to dry brush our bodies, we want to uh, get colon hydrotherapy or at the very least start practicing doing home enemas. Um, there's so many things we can do that are beauty treatments, health treatments, right at home. So instead of going, to, you don't have to go somewhere. I mean, you could go somewhere like the Optimum Health Institute. It's amazing in San Diego. But you can also take the time after work to educate yourself about the things to do at home so that you're in the practice of doing the things regularly. Take one at a time. Master the art of enemas. And then you will have this thing that will serve you for the rest of your life instead of going away, being immersed, coming home, and not incorporating. So while I love cleanses and while I love retreats, they're such a good way to learn intensively. It's just as important, if not more important, to be able to be at home, be in your life with your children, with your work, and just incorporate some healthy things every day so you feel like you have control of your own life and, and that you don't revert back to totally bad ways and learn a little bit by little bit. So that's my inspirational talk for the moment. This is so beautiful and I'm pleased. You can cut up the mango chunks in there and this is it. Just pour it in. I need a little spatula. I love my little spatulas. If I had some olive oil or some hemp oil or some flaxseed oil, I could drizzle some oil on here. There would be nothing wrong with that. This is pretty low fat. This is a huge salad with one teaspoon of tahini. Why low fat? If you're eating any kind of sugars, fruit sugars, any kinds of sugars, you don't want too much fat in the system 
because this is the cell and the cell needs the fruit sugars, it needs the energy. If you clog it with a lot of fat, the sugars can't get in and the sugars end up in your bloodstream. So the sugars float around in your bloodstream and it spikes the insulin, so you have high blood sugar, high insulin, which causes a myriad of problems, one of them being diabetes. So just be mindful of the fat. You, we need the essential fats for our brains, but we just don't wanna go crazy eating fat all day. So be mindful, use it judiciously, but use it. Um, I do. I think going the whole fruity way is so much fun and so much energy in the summer and it's cleansing and I, and I don't have anything against people doing it, but we definitely need to get the essential fatty acids from, you know, chia seeds and tahini and coconut, coconut oil and coconut fruit and um, flax and... Mm. Anyway, here we go. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to put it in a bowl and taste it for you. If you were here, I would serve it straight away right to you. And you would feel the energy that's in this food because it is so high vibration. It's so, you feel it. You really do feel it, you know, right away. And after you eat something like this, and I could eat more than this, after you eat something like this, you just feel alive. Like you can still clean your house and have creative thoughts and go out and meet a friend or do yoga. I mean, that's the idea. We don't want food to like weigh us down so we're in a coma. We want to fuel our body so we can keep going and be even better. I know, I'm gonna serve some of this to Herbie, my 85-year young dad who went organic, raw vegan seven months ago, and he's on fire. He is so happy. I'm gonna post an update on Herbie. Mm. So good, two thumbs up. Mm. A little more salt. And pink Himalayan salt, never iodized salt. It's been bleached and stripped of its nutrients, minerals. So eat a lot of this. Eat a big bowl of this. Chew it really well. The fiber's great for us. I love you guys. I want you to get your greens on. I really want you to do this. Change one thing a day. Either have a smoothie, have my one true thing green soup, or have one big salad a day, and you'll see that your life will start to change. Master one thing. I will see you really, really soon.